Hello students, greetings from Saraswati Sisukunj. This is Applied English Listening Part 3. Students, in my previous video, I have explained to you Part 1 and Part 2. Even in the first semester, we have only discussed about Listening Part 1 and Part 2. But here, I am going to discuss about Part 3 of Applied English. Students, you can find the questions that I have already written on the board that is question number 21 to 26 students I am going to play a listening track for you you need to do listening along with you I am going to do listening as well I will write my answers on the board and then I will have a discussion what type of questions should be and what type of answer suitable for these questions that we will discuss students before that I am going to play a listening track you also do listening, write your answers on the paper and then you can just cross check and you can verify your answers and you can come to know that out of 10 questions, how much you have got. Students, without delay, I am going to play a listening track of part 3, question number 21 to 26 and the other part. Do listening students, write your answers and the listening track is here. That is the end of part two. You now have 30 seconds to check your answers to part two. Part 3 You will hear a discussion between two students, David and Jane, and their tutor, Dr Wilson, about their group research project into local history. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 26. Now listen to the first part of the conversation and answer questions 21 to 26. Hello, David, Jane. Hello. Hi. So, how's the local history project going? Are you making good progress? Yes and no. Oh? Well, we anticipated problems of various kinds. None of the group has much experience of collaborating on projects. But we spent some time discussing how to go about it and thrashed out what seemed a useful approach. But it seems that Jane and I are the only ones actually following the plan. That's meant that the whole project has been lacking coordination, and so we've fallen behind our schedule. I see. That's tricky. Yes, it is. We felt that the targets had been defined, so we'd all know what to deal with. But looking back, we probably should have really specified individual responsibilities. As it is, we only have a loose sense of what should be done by who. Well, this is quite a common problem, actually. I take it that you've had enough group meetings, so you're looking for an effective solution. If you go to the Resource Center, I think you'd find the advice service they provide there helpful at this point. Thanks. We'll go there later. On a specific note, I think we've got carried away with recruiting people to interview at the expense of building up the reference section, which I don't think is going to be solid enough. Do you think that'll be a major problem? Hmm. I'd have to see how much is there to be sure. But, well, you'll have to be pragmatic at this point, I think. What you'd better do is ensure your methodology is really strong, so at least you can't be faulted on that front. Then, if people challenge your results... At least you've carefully reported how you reach them. Do you see what I mean? Yes. yes. So? Yes, I think one resource in relation to that that we haven't exploited as fully as we might is the Internet. 
I've taken a lot of journals off the library shelves to go through, but actually there are websites where you can call up lists of approaches or data sets really quickly. I think that's a good idea, yes. Now you have some time to look at questions 27 to 30. Now listen to the rest of the conversation and answer questions 27 to 30. Now, let's think about the field trip and at least make sure that goes as well as possible. You're going to Cambridge on the 22nd. The Monday, yes. It's quite soon now. And in the morning you'll be travelling and then getting settled into the hotel. Uh-huh. But you need to get down to work after lunch, of course. Now, I've arranged for you to have a look at some useful visual material, especially photographs and old magazines and newspapers, which is included in an exhibition at the library in the university. That sounds like a good starting point. There's quite a lot on show, so that'll occupy most of the afternoon. Then the following morning, I want you to go and talk to someone in the city library. His name's Jarvis Gregson. He works in the education section there, and he's an expert on the area's history. Don't, of course, forget to take a tape recorder with you, so that you can record what he tells you. Mm -hmm. And to have our questions ready. Indeed. OK, and the afternoon's free for you to wander around, get the feel of the place. Do some sightseeing. As you wish. It's a beautiful city. Mm. But it's back to work on Wednesday morning. Concentrate on the central area and walk around methodically. You'll have the plans I'm getting ready for you from different periods, and your task is to compare those with the makeup of the city today. Make notes on how different kinds of shops and businesses have grown up, what's gone, and so on. I hope the weather's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, and in the afternoon, I want you to think about producing your own records along the lines of the ones in the city library's archives. The history of the castle is very important to the city's development, so use a camera to get some pictures that reflect that, if you can, showing it in relation to the buildings and spaces around it. We'll try. And when do we travel back? That's up to you. You can either decide to... Hello, students. I hope you have done it your listening and you have uh, written your answers in the answer sheet. Now, students, I am going to discuss with you what answer should be. Uh, when the conversation started, students, you can come to know that it is a kind of discussion that the professor Wilson is going to have with their students, David and Jen. Uh, David and Jen were given a task of uh, preparing a project assignment on history. And they were facing some problem. The group was uh, not up to the mark. The group was not collaborating with them. And hence, they find a lot of difficulties. This is the conversation that students can hear uh, in the listening. Now, always keep in mind, students, what things that you need to do. You need to follow, complete the sentence below. You need to complete the sentences below by filling the blanks. Also, students, I have told you many times that write one word. In each year, your answer should not be more than one word. Okay? As you start uh, listening to this, you can come to know the conversation between three. One is Professor, Jen, and David. And they were discussing about the uh, assignment of the research assignment of a local history. And you can come to know that what the answer should be. Okay? The first question that you can come to know David feels that progress of the project has been. So, because other members of the group are not comprehensive with Now, so please, if you are not listening very attentively, you can come to know the group was not uh, up to the mark, the group was not handling, uh, the project was uh, delayed, and they were facing a lot of problems. And uh, Jen and David were not happy at all. And Professor Wilson asked so many questions. That means the group was not uh, collaborating, there was no cooperation. Hence, 
what complexing with the word what is the answer the answer is plan plan what plan the project plan and uh, they were facing and what is the answer students the answer is plan uh, as we move further students question number 22 you can see here jen thinks that the personal dash work not clearly established i think uh, when the task was given of making assignments on history on local history uh, if you are the listening students, what is the answer that task was not given and uh, that was what is that responsibility? What is that responsibility? So this one C B B D is. What is the answer? The answer is responsibility students. Uh, personal responsibilities were not given. Jen thinks that personal responsibilities were not clearly established. It was not proper. Hence, we were facing a problem. Now, questions uh, 23 and the further questions also we will discuss through this. And Dr. Wilson suggests that the group use dash module available from the research center. What modules uh, should be used? So, it is a, a reference module can be used when at the center, resource center. So, Dr. Wilson suggests that the group use module available from the resource center. So, what is the answer? The answer is a reference. Reference. Dr. Wilson suggests that the group use reference module available from the resource center. And if they could use reference center, it would be really easy for them to have assignment on history. Uh, but students, I hope you have done. Just check your answers after completing this task. Now, question number 24. And students, there are a lot of info information you get when you do listen. But some of the information you don't have to focus on it. Only the necessary information that you need to do. But do listen very attentively, then only you are going to get the answers. David doubts that the research will include an adequate consulting. Uh, by which we can get my students. Okay. Okay. David doubts that the research will include an adequate consulting. Consulting. Now, what is the adequate consulting? It is about the service. It is about the It is about the service. David doubts that the research will include an adequate consulting service. So what is the answer? The adequate the consulting is a service that David talks about. To Jen and to whom? And uh, uh, Professor Wilson. So David thinks that David is one of the students. Uh, as we move further for question number 25 students, you can come to know that according to Dr. Wilson, Okay, according to Dr. Wilson, the dash is now the most important thing to focus on. Now, there are so many things, but what is the most important thing that has to be focused on it? Who says, uh, Dr. David says, that according to Dr. David Wilson, Dr. Wilson, the is now the most important thing to focus on. Now, students, what is that to be uh, focused on? So it is the methodology. The methodology has to be focused much more on it and is the answer is methodology. The, what is the answer? The answer is methodology. Now students, I hope you have got the correct uh, answer and we move to the question number 26. Jen finish and says uh, the conversation continues. And in between Jen says that yes, there is one more thing that really be uh, really disappointed us. And what is that? Because a lot of students uh, went to the lab and they search on internet. And through internet, I think uh, what is that? Some meaning that the group could make use of some websites. And what is the answer? The answer is websites. Okay. So, uh, Jai believes that group could make use of some websites and it is a uh, hence they were very much disappointed. 
Now students, uh, we have completed questions number 21 to 26. And the rest of the questions students, I am going to write. What are the questions that I am going to write? That is question number 27 to 30. There are total 10 questions in part 3. Now remaining questions 27 to 30, I am going to write on the board students. Uh, I hope uh, you have understood these uh, questions of 21 to 26 students. Finally, you need to do listening very attentively and focus whenever there is a question. Try to understand how it is being said in the listening or in the audio. Uh, I hope students once again that you have understood these questions. Now I am going to move to the question number 27 to 30. Now I am going to discuss question number 27 to 30. We have already completed question number 21 to 26. Now in this part, this is part 3 only but different type of questions. You can see many options students over here. I am going to read that is A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. Okay. And next to these options, we are going to have the table. You can see the table clearly students. And I hope you have done listening. You have written your answers. Just you need to check your answers students. Okay. Before that, what things we need to keep in mind? Instructions we need to keep in mind. What? Complete the table below. So this is the table we need to complete. How? When you do listening very attentively, definitely you can get the correct option and you need to write of question number 27, 28, 29 and 30. Okay. Before that, as I said, instructions always we need to understand. Choose your answer from the list below and write the correct letter. A to H next to the questions 27 to 30. Monday, Wednesday, Friday to Cambridge. Now students, if you are done listening very attentively, you can come to know that they are talking about the Friday to Cambridge. And students, you need to write your answers in the table below. The table is already given next to the option. Compare photographs at newspaper offices. Interview a local historian. Listen to the texts in the city library. Study records of the shop ownership. Take photographs of the castle area. Talk to the artist at the city library. Tour city center using the copies of the old maps. And the last option students that we have visit an exhibition at the university library. Now students, uh, if you are not listening very attentively, you can come to know that you will arrive on Monday 22nd. Okay, so when they will arrive, they will arrive on 22nd, Monday at hotel. And the starting point would be, if you are listening students very carefully, you can come to know the starting point would be visit an exhibition at the university library. The starting point would be at hotel visiting the exhibition at university library. So what is the correct option? The correct option for the question number 27 is H. Okay. Uh, make sure students, there are the other options also being said, but we need to do listen very carefully, then we are going to get. Because there are many options and we need to select only four. So what about the rest of the options? Yes, it is said but in a contradictory way. So what we need to do? We need to do listening and get the correct answer. Okay. Now students, the correct answer for the question number 28. Interview a local historian. So you can find uh, in, uh, when you complete this exhibition, you can find a professor over there and his name is Jarvis and interview, you can talk to him they have not said the interview, but you can uh, talk in your free time. You can go to a profession. Uh, his name is Jarvis and interview a local historian. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer would be B. But make, uh, make sure you need to do listening students and then you understand 
you are not going to get the whatever you can in the option. So interview a local historian. The word is said no, but you get the synonym words. Keep in mind. Okay. Now students, question number twenty nine. Now we are just talking about afternoon. Wednesday twenty fourth a.m. twenty uh, nine in the afternoon that you can uh, talk about. Uh, they discuss about full city center using the copies of old maps. So you can in the afternoon when you are free, you can just go uh, around and you can just use those using copy of old maps. The answer would be the full city center using copies of old map. So the answer would be H. So I write here H and students. Uh, G and uh, what is that? The next one, the next one, PM in the afternoon. Take photographs of the uh, castle area. So since it is a historical place, uh, you can just go around and you can just have your camera with you. So when you have your camera with you, you can take the photos and you can just preserve those photos. Uh, take photographs of the castle area and also it is uh, said in the conversation. You can carry a camera with you, so you can take some photos. So, what is the option? The option would be E. Uh, students, I hope you have understood uh, question number twenty-seven to thirty. Finally, what you need to do? You need to do listening very attentively. Then only you are going to get. Rest of the options are safe, but in a contradictory way. What we need to do? We need to do listening. Once again, students, uh, I hope you have understood uh, part three and of question number twenty-one to thirty. And students, as I always give for your assessment task a video, and here also I would like to give a video. And students. Part two. You are going to hear an introduction to some London parks. First, look at questions eleven to fifteen. As you listen to the first part of the talk, answer questions eleven to fifteen. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the London Park Society. It's a lovely day, so in half an hour or so, we'll go outside and start our tour of some of London's famous royal parks. But for the next half an hour or so, while we enjoy our coffee and biscuits, I'll tell you something about some of these wonderful parks. A brief history and some of their special attractions. I also have a few slides to show you. First, what do we mean by Royal Park? In short, they once belonged to or were established by order of a king or queen of England, or at least a member of the royal family. And it's a good job they did. They provide quiet and natural scenery, places that we might not be able to enjoy today if our former rulers. Had just put buildings everywhere. Let's start with the most famous Hyde Park. This park offers some of London's finest scenery and covers 630 acres and a perimeter of four miles. I know we have friends from France here, so I'd better give it in metric. That's about 260 hectares and 6.5 kilometers. Hyde Park dates back to 1536. When King Henry the Eighth got the land from the monks of Westminster Abbey, much of the later design, its layout, was done by the architect Decimus Burton in the 1820s, who took full advantage of the area's high and low land. It was the original site of the Crystal Palace, built for the Great Exhibition of 
the original ancestor of today's World Expos, like the one that will be held in Shanghai in 2010, I think. So it's been popular for a long time, and not only the people who live and work near the park like it. Many famous rock bands like Pink Floyd and the Rolling Stones have put on big rock concerts here. I still remember the Rolling Stones concert there in、uh, I forget the exact year. It was around 1968 when I was a university student. Now look at questions 16 to 20. As the talk continues, answer questions 16 to 20. I mentioned the architect Decimus Burton. He designed the very impressive. Grand entrance to the park. The whole front is about 107 feet long. Look at the four magnificent pillars that support the central entrance, and that carving on the wall. Here's a close-up of a naval and military procession, and the gates made of iron and bronze with a beautiful Greek-style flower design. One of the most popular sights in the park is Speaker's Corner, in the northeast corner. Where you can hear British people exercise their right to free speech. There may be a dozen or more at any one time, each standing on a soapbox and spouting, usually controversial views on any topic you can think of: religion, politics, fox hunting, trade unions, Europe, tourists, etc. Lots of arguing. It's great fun. And south of the Serpentine Lake is the memorial to Diana, Princess of Wales. It's an oval stone fountain that opened on July the sixth, two thousand and four. Another memorial in the southeast corner of the park is the Albert Memorial, Queen Victoria's monument to her husband of that name. I see that time is getting short, so I'll be a bit briefer with the other parks that we'll see today and tomorrow. Regent's Park. It has a fantastic landscape and is known as the jewel in the crown. Regent's Park covers 487 acres. That's 197 hectares, including Primrose Hill, and has the largest outdoor sports area in London. Rugby, basketball, soccer, netball, cricket—it's all here. St James's Park, with its royal, political, and literary associations, is at the very heart of London. It's overlooked by not one but three royal palaces. The most ancient palace is Westminster, now known as the Houses of Parliament. Then there's St James's Palace, which used to be the King or Queen's residence, despite the fact that the monarch has lived in the Third Palace, Buckingham Palace, since 1837. There's so much to see in or by St James's Park. Bands give concerts twice a day in the park at weekends during the summer, and tomorrow is Saturday, so we're in luck. Then there's the changing of the guards. The Queen's lifeguard changes daily at Whitehall, just nearby, Monday to Saturday at 11 a.m., an hour earlier on Sundays, and at Buckingham Palace every day at 11:30 in April, May, and June, and on alternate days in July and March if the weather is okay. Finally, we'll visit Greenwich Park, which is the oldest enclosed royal park. It's situated on a hilltop. With impressive views over the River Thames to the Docklands and the City of London, it contains several historic buildings, including the old Royal Observatory, the Royal Naval College, the National Maritime Museum, and the Queen's House. Well, it's time to go. A ten-minute walk, and we'll be at Hyde Park. That is the end of part two. You now have thirty seconds to check your 